hello friends welcome back to my channel uh, today um, in this video i will be uh, showing you showing you how to do uh, failover configuration so uh, for this uh, i will use uh, shsrp protocol so it stands for hot standby routing protocol so uh, firstly i just want to show you how why we use the failover so as you can see in my picture in in the other side we have got one server and in the other side two pc so what if accidentally uh, one of these router got damaged it, it could happen in office like some cause of some reason your router might can be damaged so so we have we will create a configuration in such a way that if any of this uh, router got damaged even up uh, even though this two server and PC can communicate with each other so before get into the HSRP configuration uh, so what you guys need to do is uh, same or same uh, IP addresses on all the PCs router and in this we will be using uh, OSPF round protocol if you guys uh, don't know about it uh, I would love to suggest you to go back to my uh, last videos and also we will have a virtual uh, gateway we have to assign a virtual gateway that means if any of uh, these two gateways got, uh, got damaged then automatically this PC will uh, establish connection with the help of virtual gateway that is 1.1 but at the moment as you can see in this router i have ip address 1.2 and in this router you can see 1.3 so 1.1 is our virtual gateway okay so i have already uh, did ospf routing and now you can see uh, you can ping to the okay you can ping to the one dot two this router there you go it's replying that means i already osp and that's why and router yeah but your virtual gateway doesn't work so let's start the configuration so here what I'll do is so this this will be my primary router uh, router 1 and router 2 will be my standby router okay so let's start configuration Enable Victor as usual, and we will uh, we will get into the Ethernet zero slash zero and stand by IP. So virtual IP address that is one nine two zero one six eight one dot one that's it uh, again and this standby right so you can give any of the values between 0 to 255 so in this one fifty. Stand by print 
yeah that's it on our primary router now let's get into the our standby router okay so okay turn it stand by IP one six eight dot one dot one now you should be able to ping on the your virtual uh, gateway okay now you can see that you can uh, it's pinging takes a bit more time okay you can see let's try once more yeah now you can see it's pinging it's 100 percent pinging okay let's try to ping from pc2 to server address 2.16 uh, one six eight dot two dot two. Here you can see. Let's try once more time. Yep, yeah, established. Now, okay. Let's suppose um this uh, router. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This uh, router which damaged. Okay, so I'm gonna damage the router. Probably let's just uh, turn it off. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Now this whole network is not working. So, but still, you should be able to ping with this standby router, okay? Mm, let's check. Now you can see, you can see ping to the server. And server also uh, need to able to ping to the PCs. Uh, it's a one. Four, okay. Now you can see it's pinging. That means uh, we are able to configure our. Let's try to ping one or five, okay. Yeah, it can easily ping. So now, yeah, um, we are done with our configuration, and it and, and as you can see, it's working. So guys, that's all for today. Please uh, just subscribe my channel uh, in order to be updated with my upcoming videos. That's it for today. Thank you.